Good morning, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you our curriculum choices for the school year 2020-2021, and I'll be back to let you know what they are. Welcome back, everyone. I don't have any particular order that I'm going to go um, with the different um, subjects, but I do want to start with the Bible first, because that's without God starting us out. Uh, we would not do such a great job, and so we're going to put him first in everything, and I'm going to put him first in this video. So the Bible that we're choosing to use um, for the beginning of this year is called the I Am, and there's 40 reasons to trust God, and it's got Bible stories, it's got devotions, it's got prayers about the name of God, and um, I shared this before um, with Bible curriculum, but this is what we're going to use. It's just absolutely beautiful, has some wonderful stories. I know I am going to enjoy going through this with my son, Mason, who is five. He is very excited about kindergarten. So this is the Bible that we will be using. This is the devotion, How Great Is Our God, 100 indescribable devotions about God and science. And I like that because we will use this when we are talking about science. I have some things that I'm going to be um, marking out so that I have them already. It, depending on what we're talking about, um, it does have different categories in here. So there's space, there's earth, there's animal, and there are people. And I like this because this can go along with my science and it can go along with my geography because in geography, as you will see soon, we're going to be talking about animals and low and different continents. So it will work with both. So I'm excited about this. And I just love this. I love the first book that he put out. And I also love this one. So those are what we will be using for Bible and devotion. The next set I'm going to show you is what we're using for Bible. So we are going to be using... Um, this God is really, really real. And there are 30 easy taught Bible doctrines in here. So we are going to use this. This is from Master Books. I love this. It's just so wonderful. I love the pictures in it. I love how the lessons are set up. There are 30 of them. And um, it's got a story that we're going to read first. It takes us through many stories of the Bible. And then we will work on the lessons in the back. I also have from Master Books this series a is for adam d is for dinosaur and n is for noah and these are set up also and they are let's read the starting points bible bites let's talk always remember and stuff to do and a quick review so each one of these are about different stories in the bible so those we are going to use along with i do have some readers that we will put in our morning basket and i like these i showed you these before these are flip overs this is the little bible heroes this is noah then you flip it over it's about creation and peter and paul and so forth the sower and the wise builder so there are several of these that i have many of these and these i will do like i said in morning basket during family time um the next ones i want to show you this is the christian gentleman series and it's lesson and responsibilities for boys ages six and up and these you do it's says to do these once a week. So it's just lessons and responsibility, gives you the instructions, things to follow, and it talks about each week and responsibilities, responsibilities through love, responsibilities and your stuff, responsibilities and your bed, and just goes through everything that you need and what how we should be responsible and all our responsibilities. So they're little stories and then it talks to you and it gives you like responsibility in your chores and it gives you scriptures to go along with it. So I'm excited about this. So there's this one and then there's book two. So lessons and responsibility for boys. So we will be doing that once a week. Um, this is a little boy after God's own heart 
and God's Wisdom for Little Boys. And these are excellent. I'm excited to share these with Mason. We will use this along with our Bible curriculum and our lessons and responsibility for boys. So some of these are every day and some we will rotate and some are on a loop schedule. So just so you know that part. Whoops, I'm sorry. I guess I, I bumped my camera. I guess I better straighten it out. This is the math we'll be using from Master Books. And this is Lessons for a Living Education, Level K. And I just love this book. I'm excited about this. It's got critical thinking. It tells a story. Let's kind of flip through the beginning. It's got your, so your scope and sequence. It tells you approximately if you did these five days a week or if you do these every day. We will be doing these every day, and it's talking about the course uh, objectives. It goes through and it talks about materials for each lesson, and they're all things that you should have around your home. And then it just tells you um, the semester suggested schedule. I don't know that I will always follow that, but I like that it lays that out for you so you do have it. And then it just starts right in with lesson one, and it gives you a story. And over here, and then it has questions, and this is exercise for day one, critical thinking. And this is, we have to think about those things, and this is an exercise that we're going to do. Whoops, almost tore that out. And this is uh, exercise for day two. And I don't know um, if I, this is day two, so, and this is day three. So you're not doing many each day, which is really nice. I like that part. I also got level one because I don't know how challenging that will be for Mason but um, we're going to try one and then if we get through it quickly we will start this book if not we will use this book for the following year so these are both master books which I love glad to have those for math oh that's what I keep doing I'm pretty I'm putting my books up and I'm messing up my camera sorry if you guys feel like you're kind of rocking back and forth that's not good um, the next ones I'm going to show you are, this is for what we will be doing for history. And we are going to talk about Pioneer Days. And this is American Kids in History. And I got the, my first little house book series to go along. And we'll read these. I love these because they're for the younger ones. So this is the young series. And there are, I do believe, 13, let's see, there's there's 12, 13, 14. I'm sorry, 14. So we're going to go through these books. We're going to, if you traveled west in a covered wagon, this is kind of neat. It tells you the story and how they lived and how they schooled. And then Pioneer Days. This says discover the past with fun projects, games, activities, and recipes. So I was excited. I'm excited about this. We will be making some of these. I do have several other books that have to do with Pioneer Days. And then our timeline. And we are going to study the period of the pioneer days and what how they lived and how they were schooled and all the things that I mentioned. I don't know how if I keep bumping this or what I'm doing here wrong, but I apologize. I feel like I'm like making myself dizzy. Okay, for science next is Master Books also. And this is called God's Design, Life for Beginners. It's plants for beginners, human body for beginners, and animals for beginners. So this is what we're going to use for science. One of the books that we're going to leave, use. And I like this. And I love how they, when they give you, send you your curriculum. We are so very thankful. I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. And I like it, um, how they do this. It's a special touch. It's kind of like sending a hug. So I do like that really well. And I do like these lessons, and I think this is a bright, cheerful book. And it talks about plants for beginners, and it goes through. And then it talks about um, plants and seeds and roots and stems. And we have a lot of other books to go along with this, so we are excited to do these lessons. This we will do twice a week, our science. So that's how we will do that. I do have a couple other science books. I have this one by Osborne. It's 50 Science Things to Make and Do. So there's a lot of different things in here. We can do experiments. It's always fun to do. Mason loves experiments. He loves science. He loves nature. So this will be fun to go through and do some of this. I also have sim uh, Science is Simple. Over 220, um, 250 activities for preschoolers. However, I looked in here and I really feel like this could be for probably up to second grade at least. So 
I look forward to doing these activities. And then we have these activities. This is pre-K and up. And there are several um, things in here to do and some beautiful pictures and lots more experiments in here. So this will be fun to add to the science. Next, we're going to talk about is teaching reading. And I'm excited about this, a little nervous and apprehensive with Mason. I don't know how well he will do. Um, he was recently diagnosed with ADHD and also um, with um, sensory um, disorder, so processing disorder. So that's why I have a variety of things because I'm not really certain what's going to work for him best and what won't. But um, he does love learning. He did great in preschool. I don't foresee any problems, but um, I did get this one. And this goes through and gives you lessons to do with them so that you, they start learning how to read. This is by the Ordinary Parents. Um, and I like this, uh, the Well-Trained Mind. So I'm excited about that. I also have the Alpha and Phonics, a primer for, um, primer for beginning readers. And this just goes through with a list of all the different sight words. And it goes through the different lessons. So I have both of those. Then I have also um, Bob Books, my first books, pre-reader collection. And Mason wants to read more than anything. So I'm excited about him reading. Plus we have several picture books that we will do by theme in his morning basket. And we will keep track of what we read. I did get him this reading journal. And it's really nice. I like this. It talks about um, the things that you're reading. So you put down the character, the profile, the name of the book. And I will fill this out for him. He can draw pictures in here. It's just really fun to go through. And we will keep track of all the books that we are reading. So I was excited to get this. And this is through Not Consumed. And she has a an amazing site that you can go to and get um, so many beautiful materials that she sells. The next one we're going to talk about is geography. And I have a couple different books on geography. Um, there's this one is pre-K and up. And then there's this one, which is pre-K and up also. And it just takes you through and it has talks about the globe and maps and animals and continents and waterways and fun things that are going to be fun for Mason to do. And then this one is the U.S. and Canada. And it takes us through. And I like them because they all get a certificate at the end of these books. And it just talks about Canada. And it talks about British Columbia. And just all the different great things. Yellowstone National Park. And Mason was so excited when I showed him this because this is where we're going in a week. So he was excited to know about this. So it's just got some really great things in here. So those are some of the workbooks we'll be using. I also um, showed you I will be using the zoo box and this goes through all the different continents and animals. This one particular one we'll be starting with is from Africa and you get a pet stuffed animal in here. You get such cute wonderful things. I just absolutely love this. So this is one that we'll be using. I also have little passports and it's got all your great information and it takes you all to all different continents and you start with uh, worldwide activities and you get postcards and you get a passbook and you get a coin to keep and you get to keep all your coins on here. And I ordered these and I just kept them all and I will keep each month what we'll be studying on which continent, which location. And then I have a few books to go, books to go along with it. Usborne a World of Animals. And it just has different continents where they're located. All the different animals. So how fun. And then I have uh, Little Kid's First Big Book of World. And I love these. This is really good. Um, I particularly like it. I like the way it's laid out. It, it's um, the introduction, how to use this book. You know, Maps of the World. It talks about North America, land of the many landscapes. It talks about the countries. And then the next page will give you information about the land. And then the next page will give you information about the weather. And then the people. Then it will talk about the animals. And then the sites you will see. 
and then let's go and it just has some really great things it's got music in here and it talks tells you about the languages they speak so this is just a great atlas especially for little ones i just thought it was so much fun so we will be doing that i do have a montessori book um because I am a certified Montessori teacher, I have a lot of Montessori material that I love using with the kids. But this just takes them through their world. It tells them about the different continents. So this is a book we'll be adding also. And then these are some really awesome cards. They're Children of the World art cards. So it goes through all the different countries. So when we get to the different locations, we'll look to see what do the children look like? What clothes do they wear? And what is the flag? So that's great for um, geography. The next one I want to talk to you about is, let me get this up here. It's kind of heavy. Um, we will be doing from uh, Masterbook Simple K, Simply K. And it starts out, it's like the way this one is set up. Gives you the table of contents. Talks about quick start guide. You're going to focus on, the, there's, there are four areas of focus in each lesson. Bible, Rhyme Time life skills, and ABCs and more. And I like this because it's not long. It gives you your um, scope and sequence, of course. And it tells you each lesson and supplies you will need and the look ahead and memory verses and the objective to each one. So this is lesson one, life skills, Bible, rhyme time. And then you flip the page and you have your ABCs and more. And we're going to be practicing writing our upper and lowercase letters. So that would be lesson one. That's the end of that. And then you start on lesson one, day two. So I really like this book. Like I said, Master Books is fabulous. I love all their curriculum. We also have Worldly Wise, which we will do once a week. And this will build his vocabulary. So I like that. It gives you a, the story words. It's going to give you a story. It's going to tell you about sequences and what do you know. And so this is just to build his vocabulary. I thought this would be great. My daughter has one for her grade level. And then we have Foundations of Phonics, Easy Lessons for Early Learners, Master Books. And this goes through, it tells you about all the different um, vowels, your um, phonetic sounds. It tells you about um, vowels for long vowels, if they're short sounds. And it just goes through and gives them so much practice again. And there's just so many great lessons in here. So I'm looking forward to using this along with our language arts. And then the last part of this, we have um, reading and writing, pre-K teacher guide. And then I do have the, the kindergarten. This is actually pre-K and kindergarten. And I have my first school books. And this is handwritings without tears. And this just goes through. And they do their letters. And they keep working on this and developing their skills and their pincer grip. And it just the phonetic sounds. And we've got most of this done. And then we will go to our kindergarten level that we have for that one. Then we are going to do um, some STEM. This is called Smart Start STEM, Stories, Activities, and Challenges. And it's about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And this is really good. I love um, the STEM work, and Mason does too. So we're going to go through and do a page of these. Now, this is something we will loop, and we will do this probably once or twice a week. I did get some STEM activities. This is STEM Science Motion. And it is, how can you make the car go farther and faster? The next one is about STEM Science Station magnets. Mason loves magnets, so this will be perfect for him. Um, another one that I have is our music. And we are going to be doing uh, Singing Made Easy. And this is level, this, this is level five. And it's got songs on here, and it just goes through songs that we can sing, and Mason loves to sing, and it gives you songs, and then you got the CD that comes with it. And I really, really like this. So this has got vocals on it, and it's got instruments, and just beautiful. So we're excited to start this year. We're going to try this. I do have the other levels, too, so if I need to go to those, I can, but he was doing really well on this one. The next thing that I have is for art and this is from the good and the beautiful and it is creative arts and craft projects and in this book it takes you to different things you can do make and create and we will be doing this and art we will do once a week so we will have this 
Um, I also have um, this right here is Magic Watercolors cards, and I like this. It's just fun. They have different ones we can do watercoloring in. And then this are just some other books to go along with it. My first art book by Osborne. Osborne Flip the Flap about art. ABCs of art. This is Watercolor with Me in the Forest, and this is really pretty. It's got a snail, and it tells you the colors you're going to use, and then it has an outline of a snail, and the mason will paint this. So I'm excited about that. Let me move this over. I'll show you a few other things. M is for Masterpiece, and then Vincent Can't Sleep. So we're excited about this. This is the Night Sky. And let's see. Last but not least, we're almost there. We have Mason is going to be learning Spanish. We have been working on um, that this past year in preschool. And this is, I'm excited about that. It's turned upside down. It's songs, um, song school Spanish DVD set. And then you have book one and it talks, this is a classic subject and it just goes through and it gives you words. And Ava, my daughter, who's in ninth grade, has done Spanish for a couple years. She wants to actually work with her brother on this. So this is my teacher edition. So me and her will use this. And we are going to become more fluent in Spanish. And I'm excited for Mason. He does know colors and numbers and a song. So this will be fun to add this. The next thing that I do have is by Evan Moore. It's Nursery Rhymes Literature Pockets. And I'm excited for him to do these because I think nursery rhymes and rhyming words and getting familiar with your nursery rhymes and familiar with um, the letters and how they sound. And it's just so helpful for him. So I'm excited for him to do this. And we can color these and make books and, and take them out. So it's just important. And it's just um, helps them with rhyming. It's just good for them. He loves to do rhymes. And he loves singing. So I thought this was really good. And then I have a nursery rhyme keyboard book. And you go to the song. I like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And then it tells you which ones you have to push on here to play the song. So I know he'll be encouraged by that. And then I got my favorite animal rhymes. And it just goes through like my little piggy, uh, little Miss Muffet. Yankee Doodle, and it's just bright and colorful. So whatever one he wants to use for the day, that will be perfect. I have no problem which one he chooses that will work perfectly fine. So I think um, that is almost it. Oh, I do have a couple other nursery rhymes. I have nursery rhymes, children's treasures. So this just goes through. There's several in here. Beautiful illustrations. I love this. Really nice. And then, of course, the real mother goose. And it's really fun because Mason has memorized several of these. Um, we do, we work on one for a month and then we go on to the next one. So I'm excited to get him going again on that. And I think that is about it. I think that covers everything that I have. So I am just, like I said, so excited for this new school year and just for Mason and all his learning and everything that we're going to learn and just just improve and I'm hoping that um, the curriculum that I chose will work well with Mason with his ADHD because I you know I'm not sure I'm not real familiar um, with that and what all it's going to entail with the sensory processing disorder but we're going to do the best we can the last couple things I did forget to show you are some workbooks and this one is logic and it's thinking skills workbook. I think these are important to do with um, Mason and give them some critical thinking and logic and how things work. The other one is spatial reasoning. And there has there's activities in, in here for him to do. And it just gets his mind thinking and keeps him busy. He loves being busy. He loves doing hands-on. He is very tactile. So I think we are going to have a wonderful school year. I hope that you have enjoyed um, this video. If you have, go ahead. My little people don't want to stay. I guess I need to stand them up. But anyways, um, Mason loves these. I got these. These are from the children from the um, Magic Treehouse. And they were painted and given. So Mason has little things to hold while we're learning and reading and using our morning basket. 
Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I have enjoyed sharing this with you. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that little icon bell. Click on that and that way you will be reminded when it uh, a new video has come out. And I just want to give you a scripture and leave you with that. We are not consumed because his compassion fails not. Leviticus, or I'm sorry, Lamentation 3.22. And I got that along with some things from Not Consumed, some of our curriculum. So beautiful. And like I said, check out her site. It's wonderful. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be back to share with you my ninth grade um, curriculum choices and then what we, be, we will be doing as a family. So you have a blessed, beautiful Monday.